welcome to the 50th vlog. Wow, 50 vlogs. I was surprised when I saw it. And of course, I wanted to make something really, really special. So my goal was to take you behind the stage of the hybrid virtual event I was working on. Sadly, we had to postpone it to June. It's still happening. So if you didn't sign up yet, make sure you sign up. But because a lot of people ask me to share the equipment I use to produce my vlog, I thought, okay, maybe now it's time that some of you stay at home as well, that you may want to start filming your own video blog or create some content and upload it. So I thought this might be a good moment to share all of it. Now, the good news is I'm going to share exactly what I have, but I also will give you tips of like the minimum that you would need to create some high quality. And if you were to break it down to three essential things that you need is audio, good audio, don't go cheap on audio. You want lighting. Lighting can overcome a lot of things with, uh, let's say, lower quality cameras. And then the third piece would be camera. I'm sure you know it yourself. I know I'm super upset if I'm listening to YouTube or even audiobooks or anything and that I'd say I do some workout while I'm doing it and it's a really bad audio quality, I skip it, even if the content is good. And lighting can make all the difference. Now today, I'm not too happy with the lighting, but it's because everything I have is on this table. So let's start with the camera, very essential. Now in my case, I use a Panasonic Lumix GH5S with a 12 to 35 lens. This costs quite some money. The only thing you really need if you are on a budget, make sure that you buy a 4K camera. And the reason for that is why you want 4K is not because we're going to upload a 4K file, but because you record more pixel. If your final product is a full HD video file, you basically have four times more pixel than you need, which allows you to zoom in without any quality loss. It's kind of like if I had a lot of money, I may buy a 8K camera, not because you have an 8K screen, but because I have all these pixels that allow me to zoom in with basically no quality loss. If you want to see how helpful that is, watch one of my fireside chats, because you will see I can zoom into the guest without having to go higher than 100% of the picture. Because if I film in 4K, but I'm in post-production, I say it's a full HD end results, I have to zoom out to 50% to actually see the picture that I recorded in 4K. But that's for my camera. You can take any 4K camera that you want. I think you get them for anywhere between four to 500 bucks. Then one light, I definitely recommend LED lights. This was my very first light, Polaroid LED. Usually it's more expensive the more LEDs it actually has. This one is very basic. It basically has like the brightness that you control and you will see, right? It makes all the difference in the world if I light myself up. And it also has like a temperature control where I can make the light very warm or very cold, however I want to need it. And then in the beginning, I only used this one. And a friend of mine recommended a reflector umbrella. This is basically the silver reflector that you can put in your room that reflects the light. This is like $5 or $10 on Amazon, pretty much nothing. But this with one light really can give you enough light that you need if you have daylight that you can play with it. If you really record in the dark, then you might need some more. Then audio, when I started out, I used this very old Sennheiser microphone that I was able to save from being disposed to. This is a few decades old, it's super old. In the meantime, because of the interviews, I bought myself a Rode Filmmaker um, uh, set, which is what I now use most of the time. Because of this being so old, I found out when I recorded that it, if I turn away with the head, it has less forgiveness in the audio quality that I do. So this one more modern, really good. Then right now, as you will see, I'm using this device to record audio. The reason for that is, is that the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera, which currently is filming me, needs a special cable so I couldn't plug in the microphone directly into the camera. In post-production, I use a add-on for the Premiere Pro, which is from a company called Red Giant Plural Eyes, which allows me to have multiple cameras, multiple microphones, 
and then later it analyzes the soundtracks and synchronizes all the cameras which makes them post-production much easier it is a few hundred bucks but it's definitely worth it if you have a multi-camera setup stuff for easiness i once bought this lumix adapter for my camera which has two xlr inputs because i do sometimes interview people fireside chats it allows me to go straight with both microphones in here put this here which makes post-production even easier because then i don't even have to synchronize anything it's just right there but let's go back to the light so we talked about my first light and the reflector that i had I then once bought this LED light. This one I found out is just really good for like close to you, then it can actually help, but it's not very bright. Like this one, if I just had one light would be this. And then just recently I discovered these Atom Cube RX1s. I love them. If you have seen my other vlogs, you see my background usually is very blue. They have like super cool color effects. You can uh, Bluetooth control them. And I use them to set a scene, to make a backdrop recording, if you will. Uh, if you have multiples of them, they are um, controlled via Bluetooth. You can connect them. Super easy, really, to give you some backdrop decoration light. They're charged with USB-C, which is also super cool that if you were low or run low on battery, you can do that. While these lights have these camera battery packs which is great, but then you buy a lot of those and you always have to charge them and they're not as fast charged um, to basically use them. So you see in the meantime, I have quite a big, big setup, if you will. Very old, newer microphone, but I'm actually very happy. There is a wish list where I would like these shotgun microphones because sometimes uh, I'm tired of trying to work out with the cable if I could just attach a shotgun microphone. Most of the ones that I've used so far I have a little bit disappointed when it came to the quality. Then I discovered at work at Microsoft in the, like we have these autonomous video booths. So we'll show you these one day that have these microphones in it, but there's like a thousand dollar each microphone, which is a little bit out of range for what I'm doing. So I'm trying a little bit on the lower end. But again, if you're just getting started, any good light source, just one, that is maybe 200 bucks. This is five to 10 bucks. If you buy this new, it's probably 250 to 280 US dollars, depending on the deal. And then any 4K camera would do. If you don't have a 4K camera, don't worry. It's really just the fun that you can zoom in or you can zoom out without any quality loss, loss if your end product is in full HD. So this is it for, it for today, for my 50th um, episode, if you will. Thank you very much for those who followed me loyally. Also very welcome or happy welcome to all the newcomers that see this for the first time. This is the equipment I'm using. If you have any question, feel free to reach out. If you like this content, please like it, share it with your friends. And then in the future, I will go back a little bit more to the tra traditional topics about the cloud. I also move on to a new role. Basically after this week and on Monday, I'm joining this intelligent cloud edge team. And going to focus on Azure Stack Hub and Azure Stack Edge. I look very much forward to it. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And if you can, if you have the motivation, if you want to sit more time on the screen when you're working from home right now, it's a good time to create content. But I had to admit it took me now a few weeks too. It was a bit frustrating that we had to postpone the event that we all worked so hard on. But again, special circumstances, we all know that. So with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching this. And I do wish you a great rest of the day and an amazing start into the new week. Thank you.